I'm going to do an opening spiritual mind treatment. <laughs> okay. So this word is being spoken for each one here, each one watching he virtually or in present. And if there is anyone or any place on this planet that you would like included in this word, just think of their name or that place now and know that somehow the omnipresence of God includes them too. I'm recognizing right now that there is an infinite mind and that it is this infinite mind that is thinking right now and it is thinking I am that I am and what it thinks it is creating and what it is thinking is this universe and it is being created brand new right now in this moment this universe and everything in it is being created right now and that includes each one and so it is the infinite mind of God that is causing each one to be. God is thinking right now about each one and that divine contemplation is creating each one right now. So in the mind of God, in that eternal now, each one is made brand new, fresh, there is no past, there is no future, there is only this eternal now and this divine knowing itself in its allness and its greatness and knowing itself in a particular way of expressing itself and each one is that expression. And so I am grateful that the divine is doing its thinking and also being the divine it is intelligent and so the divine mind's thinking is a mind thinking intelligently clearly it is thinking harmoniously and in order it is thinking logically and it is filled with the urging of love that this love to express, that love to give of itself as creation is present everywhere and it is present right where each one is. And so each one is now allowing the divine mind's thoughts to be heard by them. Each one is hearing the clarity of this infinite mind as it contemplates itself as this whole universe and as it contemplates itself and in that uniqueness which is each one. That divine mind has a unique urge within to express its love in a unique way and it is thinking about this and that's what each one is. And deep within each one's being, in the, in the core consciousness of of life itself, each one is able to hear the divine thoughts and to feel the divine love for itself as them. And so each one is now connected to this infinite mind's thinking and this universal heart's loving. And in this connection, each one realizes that they belong, that they are a part of this universe, and that this divine creator is only thinking of how to create itself and support its creation in health, in wholeness, in harmony, in balance, to support its creation in a way that each and every aspect of its unique expression is able to express itself joyously, freely, and happily in harmony with everything else. So this divine thinker is not thinking of separation because this divine mind, I am that I am, is one. I am that I am is one. It is all, it includes all, and it does not think of itself as separated or it cannot and does not think of itself as somehow hurting itself to somehow not in any way not support any expression of itself that in the infinite mind thinking infinitely intelligently it is knowing all 
and it is seeing all and creating all in a way that harmonizes with everything else so that everything is in its right place at the right time so that every single expression of the divine is free to choose and experience a joyous expression of itself in health, in harmony, in abundance and prosperity, in joy and in tremendous love. Each one belongs. Each one is necessary for the divine's expression of itself to be complete in this universe. And so the divine cares about each one. It knows everything about each one. And it wants each one to express themselves in a healthier, happier, more joyous way than ever before. And this infinite mind knows everything that anyone requires or desires. And so it is bringing it the full support and backing of itself as this universe so that each one is free to be that uniqueness that he or she is created to express and is completely, totally 360 degrees around from within and without and without and within from the up and below and the right and the left and the front and the back all mm is supporting each one and there's nothing outside of this support there's nothing outside of this oneness so any belief that there is something or someone out there that can hurt or harm all human race evidence and hardcore belief that hurt and harm exist is not what the divine mind is thinking and in the light of connecting to that unique presence and hearing only what it thinks all of the darkness of those human race beliefs melt away in the light of truth the clarity of this infinite mind thinking only thinking of its greater expression this one life god the divine creator is only think about the next creation it has no ability to think of itself as destruction or falling apart. It's only thinking of the next form, the next creation, the next good. And it's always thinking of, oh, been there, done that. Let's create the greater, the better, the healthier. This is the divine principle. This is the divine thinking of that one presence. And it is being thought right now, right where each one is. And each one is hearing it. Each one is receiving it and feeling its love and support with clarity and is able to then look upon all that is going on in this world and seeing it with the eyes of God and hear that thinking of God present within them saying life is all good I am that I am and realizing that it is a divine imperative to support its creation in health and wholeness with all of its love all of its joy and all of its intelligence is brought to bear so that each one is able to move and live and love and laugh and dance and sing and have joy here on this planet now in freedom in health with full support and with an overarching indwelling fullness of love and being one with all no one is created to be anything less than the presence of love each one is a blessing God's gift to humanity and wherever one is and wherever one goes, mask or no mask, each one is a blessing to humanity and is only an avenue of God's good, which includes its health moving into humanity. Each one is this pure beauty of God and is here to only to be an avenue for its good and so each one is the presence and the force of love and goodness which expresses in relationships between each one and the rest with harmony 
perfect right order and divine right action. Each one is emanating the goodness and the health and the vitality of the living spirit within. Each one is the presence of love and love unfolds in ways and means of love. There is no evil mixed in with this presence of love. It is love thoroughly and completely. And this is present within each one. And this is now felt by each one. And so each one knows that they are a force for good in this universe. That they are this presence of love. And that they are able to go through this world and know that all they are being is an avenue for God's love and joy and harmony and peace to be expressed. And this is what the divine is thinking of each one. Each one allows the divine mind to think of each one as love and goodness without any contradiction in their own thinking. Each one says yes to that divine thinker and all of its thoughts. And as a result, each one is experiencing more health, more harmony, more love, more joy, more abundant good and prosperity, more wisdom and more freedom, more peace and more of any other divine quality that anyone desires. This is the truth. It is the truth for each one and it is the truth for all. And it expresses here and now and always as the highest and the greatest good of all, which is the good, the good of God. I am grateful this is the truth. So I release this word now to God's law, which agrees and obeys and changes anyone's thinking to the contrary, so that each one is a wider open channel of the goodness of the divine's perfect loving thoughts than ever before. I am grateful this is so, I let it go, and so it is. So it is. So it is. Wonderful.